Holy shit. Okay, you need to get I need to get out. Wow. This former prison is extremely haunted, filled with more than a century of pain, suffering, death, and a number of executions. So much paranormal activity remains here, ranging from physical touch to full apparitions that have even been captured on camera. This place isn't for the faint of heart. We have a really cool episode for you tonight. I am particularly pumped for this one because we have a super haunted, very cool Aussie jail. We're in Victoria, we're at Beechworth Jail. I love the history here, it's very gritty. There's a, a lot of cool Aussie history, particularly related to the Kellys, which we'll explain throughout this video, who Ned Kelly is, if you don't know. He lived in Australia in 1880. It was a lot like the American West, only wilder. What makes me most excited about this jail is there are supposedly bodies of inmates that were actually buried on site. So we not only have recorded deaths, but we've also got recorded burials here at Beechworth Jail. I'm also joined by my very good friends, Craig and Allison of Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. We're on a little paranormal road trip for Australia right now and I'm having the best time. Definitely check out their video here. Definitely check out their content. I'm linking them below, go support them. They're the best people and oh my God, I can't tell you, like my cheeks hurt so much from just laughing. We're having the absolute best time ever. We've also got Kag and Ali with us. We love them. They always bring good energy and we've had a thunderstorm today. So who knows what that's gonna do for the activity here tonight. We also have executions, uh, mysterious cells and a whole lot of paranormal claims. I think we need to get ready to lose light and investigate some ghosts. There's no shortage of grisly occurrences, death and hauntings at the old Beechworth Jail, one of the most paranormally active places in Australia. With construction dating back to 1859, the jail would open its doors in 1864 and function until its decommission in 2004. It would hold men, women and at times even children. It would see a number of escapes and of course, deaths, ranging from old age, illness, medical complications, suicide and and then to those executed at the prison gallows, where a fellow inmate would carry out the death sentence, including one double hanging. All eight prisoners hanged within Beechworth remain on the property, buried in unmarked graves condemned to eternity within these walls. The prison remains notorious for having held Ned Kelly, Australia's most iconic bushranger and outlaw, known for forming a group nicknamed the Kelly Gang, and for shootouts with police while wearing unique suits of armour. Ned Kelly would be imprisoned three separate times within Beechworth Jail, along with his mother, Ellen Kelly, his brothers, and multiple members of the Kelly gang, until his eventual execution, being hanged in Melbourne Jail after reciting his final words, such is life. Many others would pass through the doors of this historic prison during its 144 years of operation, and it's rumoured some have remained behind bars in death to haunt this property, with countless paranormal reports plaguing the building. This jail to me is, I feel, one of the most haunted places that we've ever been in. We've gone to a lot of um, different places. We've never had a night where we haven't had something happen. It's very, very active, and I think it tells its own story. I mean, the amount of deaths that were in here, uh, one of the gentlemen that used to be, he used to keep a log book of how many, during the day, how many people would come up to him, whether it was, you know, young kids, older people, middle aged, didn't matter. They'd come up and they'd ask who was the gentleman that was standing up on the stairs, looking down over everyone in the uniform. There was never anyone up there, but it was obviously a spirit of some kind. We get a lot of noise down one particular corridor. I don't know, it's like any paranormal thing. If you hear a noise down there and you go to it, then you hear it up there. So <laughs> we never chase it. We just kind of sit there and listen for it. We have caught a full apparition on our FLIR that went in and, in and out of the wall. And that was when we were here with one of the historians. So that was really cool. We see what looks like a lot of shadow people. We've had upstairs in one of the hallways where I was doing a tour with a, a group of people. My torch literally felt like it was grabbed and thrown out of my hand. It's the first time I've ever felt anything kind of like that where I feel like it sort of hit me. And then it looked like something come racing down the hall. There was probably 15 of us. That's probably the most scariest time and everyone sort of felt that. Everyone sort of screamed and it was a big, it 
there was a flash of light as well. We can't even sort of, we don't know where the flash of light came. Um, we've had a lot of prisoners come back and do the tours and say that they, yeah, it always had a really weird feeling. The other night, actually, when we were doing a tour, we had, we had the most loudest bang behind us. We'd never heard a bang like that before. You know, it's like, wow, could that have been what it sounded like when the trap, when the door fell, when they were hung? You never know. But, um, you know, it's, I wouldn't say there's any areas that are really more concentrated on. It kind of feels like it's all around. Tonight, we would get the opportunity to explore and investigate this extremely haunted jail. We would uncover evidence that past inmates still exist in lockup and be joined by our good friends Adelaide Haunted Horizons, who'd add so much to our night. So if you're ready to meet the spirits of the old Beechworth jail, hit like, subscribe, and let's jump into the investigation. This is it. This is Beechworth Jail. I have been waiting years to get here. I was trying to get here during COVID lockdowns and it was impossible. So this is a big night for us, right, Jared? Yeah, it feels really good to finally be here. It just takes me back to like during COVID when we weren't able to do anything. Like, and it feels good that it's like, oh, we're actually here now. Yes, we can finally investigate. <laughs> There's been so many things that we've heard about. Oh. Why? Okay. <laughs> Good sign. Uh, what the heck? There's a lot of metal here, so perhaps it's like just settling. <laughs> that was weird though, because it was in several different spaces, those noises. That we've heard about. Ooh. That we've heard about. Ooh. Anyway, we're just in the exercise yard and we're getting things happen. So this is it guys, you might not be able to see it at night time. Let me see if I can bring up the light. That is the prison wall, interior wall. There's an exterior wall out there somewhere. But that sounds... Again. <laughs> it's like as soon as we start to talk, boom. I'm so excited because I don't even know if that's paranormal. Who knows? Maybe someone's trying to give us a sign or something. But inside already tonight, I've had a feeling that was very unsettling, which makes me excited because I'm like, it's gonna happen tonight. I can feel it. There is energy in the air. I think I mentioned it in our intro, but there's people buried here as well, right? Not only died here, but also buried here. Yeah, generally, <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> generally, when people are executed in prisons, they're also buried here because it's they can't be buried in consecrated ground. So it was almost like you've done your life sentence, then you die, and then you have to remain in the jail to keep repenting and paying. So was that have been here, or did she say it was by the pool? area i feel like it might be somewhere else but you know i i say we head into the cell block roll ghost tube yeah it's gonna, be, walk through. It's gonna be a good night <laughs> sounds like growling but I believe that is a horny koala. Yeah, baby. Ew, but cute. Rolling on ghost tube and we are heading in. Wow. Beechworth jail, guys. This is so cool. So we've got two main wings. We've got the male's wing this way, is that right? Yeah. And does that make this a female wing? The half of it was for females. Men were kept down there also, in addition. But I think we're gonna- Touch! Touch. <laughs> Our uh, tour guides told the spirits tonight that they were allowed to touch me when I visit. And if anyone's here and you can hear my voice, my name's Amy, this is Jared, and yeah, you can touch me tonight. Not me though. <laughs> Just touch her. I would prefer though, if you can, can you pull my hair or my clothing? Can you touch me somewhere that shows movement? Because I want other people to be able to see that you touch me. The mess hall maybe? Yeah. So guys, we just heard a noise, we're gonna follow it. So through here's the mess hall, so this would've been where the inmates would've eaten, I suppose. Whoa, good echo in here. Hello, 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 hello. Is there anyone in here? 
feel like in mess halls, wasn't this another like fights? I mean, I'm just going by movies I've seen, but like mess halls would have been an active area, right? They would have eaten their meals here. There would have been arguments here. I guess any social recreation areas, yeah, would have been high energy. I would assume, yeah. Can you tell us what used to happen in this room? Oh, magnetic spike. Yeah. Ah, there you go. As we test debunk so often, <laughs> interference can See, haters, cause. we do debunk. Yeah. But you know what as well, it just proves that the app is doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to detect fluctuations in magnetic energy, which could be caused by EMF, but it could also be caused by magnetic material and some metals. So there you go. The more you know. Look at this place though, Jared. How cool is this? It's very cool. I am going to take everyone down the male cell block, which I've heard is one of the most active areas. But before we do, who has their Amy's Crypt bingo card ready? Because we're about to enter the toilet. Oh, do we have to start there, really? Actually, are there toilets in here? <laughs> this is just the bathroom. This is like the shower block, right? All right, let's go. My bad. I don't know if there's toilets in here. No, I think there is at least one. Well, there's this thing. Is that what's out of bidet? <laughs> Surely that's a shitter. The prison has a bidet. Oh yeah, that. Oh no, it's got a flush. That's a, that's a shitter for sure. There you go, there's one. It's a bit dusty, but... Get a dusty bum. Now I was told in this room here, the last and most recent... That came right from the toilet, I think. Toilet no, or this think? room, I don't know. This is, what's in here? This is a... This is a dryer. dryer. That is some industrial dryer there. Look at that. And most wreath. And most wreath. Yeah, that sounded like it came from in here. I was gonna say though, I know of a death that occurred in here. It's apparently still being investigated to this day. That was the most recent death. Is there anyone in here who can give us a sign if you want to talk or communicate? What bizarre shower heads, huh? They're just like tubes that come out of the wall. And now we're entering the men's wing. You might notice some equipment already out and that's from our friends Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. We're gonna be doing some sessions in their video. They're gonna be joining us for some sessions in ours. So make sure to watch both of our videos because you'll get a sense of what we all experienced throughout the entire night here. There is a very famous cell right behind Jared. Oh, this one. Oh, lucky me. Why is this one famous? The first cell here, this was actually where Ned Kelly, a very famous Australian bush ranger, was imprisoned. He was imprisoned here multiple times, I think three times, but this was his cell here and he was pos positioned sort of right at the front because they always had a guard at the top of the stairs up here, constantly watching him because I guess he was a high profile uh, prisoner and there was a lot of sympathizers for Ned Kelly. So they were worried that they were going to sort of attack the jail and try and break him out. Go in. Ooh. That is really cool. Like for those of you in America, I don't know if Americans would be familiar with Ned Kelly, but it's a really famous bush ranger, a real famous well, Aussie icon. Aussie I guess. icon, it's yeah. An icon. His and his his imprisonment and stuff is very famous, and his uh, execution at the Melbourne jail very uh, very famous. Oh, there's still water in the bowl. Was not expecting that. Uh, I have heard that a lot of paranormal activity happens down here. Uh, a lot of feelings, a lot of smells, a lot of sounds. And this area where we're standing here right now, probably one of the more active areas, maybe because the gallows are above our heads. Oh, actually no they're not, they're back there. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they're right here though. Get it right Ames. They're right just up here though, the old gallows, and we will go up and we'll see the condemned cell um, in a sec, but I do want to walk down there. <coughs> Trapped. I'm hearing a lot of noises down here. Can you make a big noise for us, please? If you're trapped here and you can't leave, you may as well make a noise. What do you got to lose? Footsteps, Ames. Shh. 
그 이제 um, I'm going to go up if you want you can stay down here I'm going to see if I can figure out that noise Is anyone there? Okay, I'm going to walk towards the noise. Hearing the noise, it seems to be coming from outside this window. There could be a drip out there. I'm weak. I just got the word, I'm weak. What did you say? I'm weak. You just said, I'm weak. I am weak. Why are you weak? Is there something we can do to help you? I'm just going to close some of these doors. I'm also just going to check this cell the noise is definitely coming from outside close the doors of any cells names that are contaminating Ooh, what was that that was me sorry can you not Although we'd heard sounds almost like footsteps echoing through the jail, we were able to debunk these as being from a water drip outside the prison. So we did our best to close any doors that could allow this sound to contaminate potential evidence before Jared would join me on the upper floor. Here, we have a noose. Oh, and what that would fall down there, that would drop open. Exactly. But the condemned cell is the first one here. And it is a lot bigger than other cells. So you've got to think they executed eight people here. So at least eight people spent their last night on this earth in this very room. Is there someone around that wants to um, play tonight? Can you use this device Jared is holding to say, maybe say hello, say your name. One minute. Area I do want to check out is the the last cell on the left up here because Alison and Cag had an experience in there. Yeah, the ladies were telling us earlier that they actually got an EVP of a hiss while they were in here years ago. You can come out of your cells tonight. I give you permission. I know you said you were trapped before, but you can come out. Oh, Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, everyone. So is this the room where Alison and Cag had their experience? We will confirm with them, but yeah, they said it was the last one on the left and they got an EVP of a hiss while in here. Are we allowed to be in here? How do you feel about us being in here? We're now making our way down to where the women were kept at the prison. So this is the next cell block, the next wing, and it was sort of uh, used for women, but half of it still was used for male prisoners. Very much similar to the other side. No hangings done down here. And this is where I had a really off, very eerie feeling. And what made me feel weirder about this feeling was I described it to our guide. And after describing it to her, she said, oh, that's the very area where I caught some very compelling, and I've seen this footage and I will show you guys, some very compelling footage on a thermal camera. There is something down there. Before showing this footage, I wanted to thank Danny and Belle from Paranormal Prospectors who were our guides this night and allowed me to show you this footage. This was captured years earlier in the Beechworth jail and it appears to be a figure in the cell block we're about to walk down captured on a thermal camera, sort of poking out from a cell before disappearing back inside. No one was in the area at the time, so it's quite an interesting thing to see and have captured. Hello. My name is Amy, this is Jared, and we're visiting the jail today. Hi. I'd love to interact with anyone who's around. Around this area from maybe here to around here during our walkthrough, 
I walked through and I felt very uncomfortable. Like, you know, when you feel like you're in danger, you shouldn't be in an area, there's someone right behind you, hairs are pricking up on the back of your neck, you get a weird tingly feeling. I had that here. How do you feel here? I don't have any specific feelings here, to be fair. Maybe it's to do with you being female, maybe? Perhaps. I do know this is the exact area that image was caught on the floor. We do have a story though for this cell and the story is very, very dark, very sad. Caroline was a um, prisoner here and she, quite beaten I think by her, her husband and she protected herself one day and hit him and so she was put in prison. The day of her trial and her husband, uh, she was very pregnant due to have a baby and he kicked her in the stomach and so while she was in here, she actually, one night in her cell, she had a two-year-old with her that apparently had scarlet fever as well, who was quite sick. She gave birth to what they said at the time was a putrid baby, a stillborn baby. Her two-year-old was apparently still alive at the time, but in the morning they found them all passed away. But it's, yeah, very sad story, very sad. And we often feel like we do feel her in the jail, yeah. You know what I did just have while I was moving that camera just then? What? Smell of wet dog just down there um, by, by the other staircase. Ew. Is that a thing? Hello? Ew. Is that a thing? Ew. Is that a thing? Ew. Is that a thing? There was definitely a noise down here. We were about to go into cell 10 though. This one here? Yeah, that's, uh, I've got a camera facing down there if there's any more noises or movement. But this is Caroline's cell. Caroline, my name is Amy. I'm here tonight with Jared. We come in to visit with a lot of respect. I sympathize with uh, everything that happened to you here. We're here just to communicate, to talk. I understand you probably don't want to talk about what happened in this cell, but maybe uh, you can give us a sign that you're around and you're open to communicating and we can talk about, you know, favorite food, favorite color, your children. I do want to point out one thing that's different about this cell compared to all the other cells that you would have seen us go through before. It used to have, or has rather, but it's sealed, a door leading to the outside. There's a good reason for that. So being an area where women were kept, they were given access uh, to this door for fresh air because a lot of them were pregnant. A lot of them also had small children that were allowed to visit with them or stay with them, such as Caroline. So that door would have been very handy and, and nice to have in here. Does Caroline have a weird thing with men being in the cell or anything like that? Yeah, maybe you get out and then we'll just see if anything can help. <gasps> Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, you need to get I out. I need to get out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hospital. Hospital. <gasps> okay. So we've got female hospital. I say you stay out of, stay out of the cell. I'll stay here, yeah. Her child was sick. She probably needed a hospital. There is a hospital here too. Yeah. Caroline, if you feel just more comfortable with me in the cell, it, can you tell me if there's anything you would like to talk about? Anything you would like uh, to be made known to the world? Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> that was loud. That was maybe a door, I'm not sure. Well, to be honest, whilst um, we're talking with Alison and Carrick earlier down there, I've heard a door, like a door opening or closing three different times tonight. Like a squeak. Yeah, before we started um, filming. Do these doors even squeak? I mean, some of them could because they're pretty stiff. Yeah. Desk. Desk. Maybe, oh, that's where the noise was, at the desk. That's the guard watch place down here. Let's check it out. 
Caroline, if you want to come follow us, we're going to be heading to the hospital, if that's where you want to go. These are actually depictions of Ned Kelly as well, guys. So pretty cool. Or the armor he wore, I guess. Guys, if you don't know who Ned Kelly is, look it up, because this guy is famous. But, you know, we got the word desk. We also got the word hospital. There is a hospital there, so we'll go up and have a look at that shortly. This is where we heard that noise from just then, right? The desk. It came from down this end, yeah. I don't know if it came from in here. I'm not sure. Oh, this, there's no pain here. Can you make another noise for us, please? You've got our attention. I'm out dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ghost tip on point tonight. It yes. really is. It's, been on, it does that. it's just been on fire. Like, you meant it. So you wanted us down here? Can you tell us how to get to the hospital? <laughs> okay, how do we get to the well, hospital? Well, how do we get there then? Tell us. How do we get to the hospital? Water. How do we get to the hospital? It's up. Maybe because you were whispering that you were like, it's up. It's up. up. Is it up? Can you tell us if it's up? We gotta go up there. Yeah, let's do it. We're now heading up to the hospital because we really feel like we've been drawn there. There's five. What do you there's, say? There's five. Okay, we had a little kerfuffle getting up the stairs there, but as we were coming up, we got the response come through, there's five. Maybe there's five people up here, I don't know. And what we also got the word female hospital in uh, Caroline's room, right? She definitely needed a hospital. So this is the hospital in here, right? Yeah. Let's let's just have a look in a room. I don't think there's so much to look at left up here. Did you want us up here in the hospital? Can you tell us why? Oh, this is hospital. Yeah, this is hospital. Hospital vibes. Yeah, we've got the rails and stuff for the curtain. Is this where you wanted us to go? Did you need to go to the hospital or you wanted us up here? We explored all over the hospital, but it seemed as though responses had fallen quiet. So we made our way back downstairs to continue reaching out. And because we'd had very interesting responses in Caroline's cell, that implied she felt more comfortable with women. I was joined by Adelaide Haunted Horizons for an experiment in this cell, while Jared would venture to another area of the jail solo. But just as we were setting up, we received REM pod interactions within Caroline's cell, followed by both Alison and Jared witnessing something very strange, which we unfortunately didn't capture on camera. That bag's, that just bag's moving. moving on its own. Oh my Ames. god, you've just missed what it. Bag? The bag behind you is just moving. Oh my god. The Christmas what? bag was just moving then. That where's was the camera? where's the camera card? There. I don't know where your camera is, Ames. You're that was really unusual movement as well. Damn it. I mean that actually moved out in and it just moved around like something was in Someone it. Someone was going through looking yeah. for something. Amy was fiddling around here, pissing around with the lights, and then Alice and I were standing there. Yeah. We could see this bag moving like someone was going through it, looking for it something. It was like something something was it moving was, through. I'm going to do it. Yeah. It was doing this. It was like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, there's nothing in here. There's a few things in there, but they're not stacked on top of each other. It's just um, um, lucid headphones and a tripod and an infrared light in there. So and nothing would have fallen off or anything. It was like just going like this. Audio, yeah. Okay. It was a definite, and the bag was moving not just like to one side, it was moving all around Maybe it. Maybe we put this near the bag because something was playing with it. Yeah, yeah. that was okay. like somebody stopped to have a look in it. That was weird. I'm disappointed that wasn't caught on video. Yeah. We have the infrared rolling over here as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, facing the other way. Yeah, of course. All right, well, I'm going to go to my cell now. Good luck.
Here, both Jared and Alison had seen my equipment bag move around on its own, as though someone was rifling through it. Whilst I didn't see this myself, I trust both of them, and they felt like the movement seemed out of the ordinary and not just movement by gravity. But as often is the case, we sadly miss this on camera. So we decided to proceed with our investigation. Here, Jared would move to a different cell to enter the sensory deprived virtual environment of Ghost Tube Lens while running Ghost Tube Seer, which could show images based off environmental readings interpreted by artificial intelligence. If you'd like to try Ghost Tube Lens for yourself, check the links below. But in Caroline's cell, myself and Haunted Horizons would conduct an SD session, with CAG wearing noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relaying anything she heard come through, while we asked questions she could not hear. Additionally, we'd also set up a thermal imaging camera where a figure had previously been captured just for good measure. Okay, so we're just setting up, so that was a bit rough, but um, Alison and Jared just saw this bag just that we've got, it's a random like spotlight Christmas bag that I had filled with gear to move stuff. And apparently it was moving around. I missed it cause I was on the floor setting up the tripwire and my back was to it, but. Weirdest, weirdest movement in a bag I've seen. This, I'm, yeah, got vibes down this yeah. area for sure. Okay, so we've just sent Jared away to do a solo. <laughs> so hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, we've come back to cell 10 to talk to Caroline. So Caroline, if you can hear my voice and you remember me, we've brought a couple of ladies back here. I know you feel more comfortable talking to women. If you can uh, go up to CAG and just say hello or tell her your name just so that she knows you're around, we would love that. Or maybe if there's someone out here who was interested in my bag. Did you get a good look at it? If you didn't, have another look. Is there something you're looking for? Something you would like? If there is, maybe you can tell CAG, she's listening. Perhaps next time we can bring it for you. If there is someone here, can you come up to the devi this device that's on my head? You might be able to select some words that can help describe who you are or what you look like. Oh, I've got an image. Um, I'm gonna say it looks like a an 1800s sort of style building, maybe like a train station, you know, like some grand government building. It's got towers and flags on top of it. I get train station vibes, Australian old train station vibes. Maybe a statue. I mean, it could be a courthouse, maybe. I'm not sure. Was this important to you? Wayne? Are you talking about someone named Wayne or are you trying to address me? All right, it did sound like the sea bomb. Okay, hello, <laughs> you're not trying to talk about me. Wayne is my last name, if anyone doesn't know. Get back in. Oh. Oh, okay. Are 90. You... Sounds like they want you back. You want me in there? I've only just realised this while editing, but the response of 90 is interesting as that is actually the cell number Jared had gone into since Alison and Cag had an experience in their years earlier. I'm in the cell where Cag and Alison said they heard a hiss last time on an EVP. I'd love to know who's coming through to talk to us. Is there a lady in there that'd like to talk to us? A uh, ghost. Oh, there's a, there's a ghost. ghost that would like to talk to us. <laughs> All right. Nice. Lucky. Lucky, yeah, we are very lucky <laughs> ghost hunters to have a ghost to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can we have the name of the ghost? Oh, there's a clack. That was just up above our head. Yeah. We just heard a noise. Can you tell us what that was? Be on the level. Misty. 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 Was that your name with nickname maybe? Yeah, is there a Misty up there? They can call you Misty if you like. But was that Have you? Okay. Who are you talking to now? <laughs> Everyone wants to eat. What are we eating? He's gone. He's gone. Jared left, yep. Yeah. Now it's just us girls. What are you hungry for? All right, so there's been 
two sea bombs. Wow. Different voices. That's the third one. When you say that word, are you... Yes. Okay. I was going to say, are you addressing one of us? <laughs> it's already been answered. Okay. <laughs> well, how many did she say? Two, three. Well, there's three of us. Yeah. Maybe sea bomb for each one of us. <laughs> <laughs> are we irritating you? What do you think about having us here talking to you? That's a drug. That's a drug. You did uh, say hospital earlier. Is it because of drugs that you were put in here? Done. Can you show me what happened to you here? What life was like, maybe? We had somebody out here earlier looking through this bag. Were you looking for something? Can you tell us what you were hoping to find? Were you looking for maybe money? If you tell me what you were hoping to find, I'll maybe be able to bring you something. How? Whoa. Whoa. I was about to say, how about I put <laughs> this money? Oh my God. In the bag. Okay, Alison's got some money and that out. triggered out. everything. Out. Out. Can, you can come out. You can come out and get the money. I'm going to put this money. That all lit up. I did, didn't it? <laughs> Including the... Um, it's deep. I'm going to put deep. that in here like this. All right, there's money in there. Yep. And it's all yours to come and find. If you can, cool. uh, it's fallen down the bottom though, you'll have to try and find it again. What happened? What happened to who? 83. What? French. Hmm. What happened to you? Do you remember? Clear. Can you tell us what cell you would like us to go to? Or tell what us... are you talking about? Just trying to talk to you. Is there something you want to talk about? You lead the conversation. We'll go along with it. Cute. Cute. You. <laughs> it's not me. You were talking at the time. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not the cute one. <laughs> Amy is cute, isn't she? On board. Would you... Newspaper. Interesting. You want some money? You've left some money out for you. Show me how many people are in this cell, just so I know the number of people. It doesn't have to be an accurate depiction of what they look like. Just, I just want to know how many people are here. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, I'm getting a picture. Um, a pink curtain with a. I get black ballet dancer vibes, but it doesn't quite look like a ballet dancer. I just see pink curtains with some sort of weird cement rock in the middle. I can't describe the, what that looks like. You guys, what do you guys think that looks like? It sort of looks like a shadow of a person, but maybe not quite. That was really, really bizarre. Oh, I've got a lot of chills too. I feel like there's someone in this room because I'm getting really cold sensations. Did I ask it to touch me before? I feel like I might have. Can you tell us what the second door in that cell is used for? You still there? Is Cag still awake? That's a six million dollar <laughs> question, isn't it? <laughs> if Cag is asleep, can you do something to wake her up? <laughs> we think she's fallen asleep. Can you touch her on the hair? Ooh, the footsteps. Leave it. The footsteps. Thank you. I thought it was up. When you say leave it, who are you talking to? Don't have. 
What don't you have? Are you talking about the money? You want us to leave that? Can you show me what your crime was, maybe, or what you were accused of? Why are you here? Oh, I'm seeing someone. Oh. I'm seeing a young girl on a beach. Interestingly, her shadow sort of reminds me of the ballerina dancey shadow figurey thing I saw in the previous image with the red curtains, but this one's more distinct. This is a girl on a beach. Is this someone that you were related to? Is this someone that you harmed? Is that why you're here? Finish. You had enough now. Done talking to us. Can you say goodbye if that's the case? Enough. Oh, I'd like you to say goodbye, please. It would be polite. Manners. I've... You've what? Deal. It's a deal. Well, it is a deal. If you say goodbye, we'll pack this up. Do you know Caroline? Which? Please. Do you think Caroline is a witch or maybe... Haven't. One of us? Damn it. Can we bring you something? Would you like to read? I've put... Chisel. You'd like to escape. Did you put a marking on the wall somewhere? Come take a seat next to me. Oh, I'm getting a young boy playing a violin. You know, it's really, really weird. I don't know the relevance of these, but we've had ballerina on a stage. We've got boy holding a violin now. Were you into drama? Were you a drama teacher? Were you, was this just what you like to do as a child? Like, what, what do these children mean to you? What happened? Can you walk into cell 10, please? Join CAG. Tap out here. Out. You want CAG out? Or you bag in. Bag in. You can look in the bag again. <laughs> bag in. Do you want the bag in there with CAG? Maybe you can look at it a bit better. Do you want me to put it in there? Is that what you'd like? Let's There's a present in, in this bag for you. Okay, I'm going to put it in with CAG. It's fun. It is fun. There you go. You want to have a good look in it? Thank you. <laughs> Our pleasure. <laughs> the bag's there for you now. It's your bag for now. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. Triple. Triple. What have you found in the bag? To do with the three, it's three coins that I put in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> do you like that gift? Maybe you can try and reach in there. Even if you make them rattle, then we know you these want something or other? It's these. You can see them? Can you There's move There's 20. Them? Uh, Ooh, there is a 20 cent piece in there, I think. Don't quote me on that. Maybe oh, no, there that, isn't. that no, money might look different to them yeah. as well. Just for the records, there's a five, a ten, and a two dollar coin. Ooh. Can you tell us what's in the bag? If you can tell us what's in the bag, you can keep it. Sorry, I know that's your money. <laughs> They just give away my money. That's my last little bit of money. That's your lunch money. <laughs> I'm going to starve now. <laughs> Can you just tap the bag, make it make a little tiny noise? On it before? You did. Oh, yeah, you, you did. were moving it. You did oh before, my gosh. yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. To me. We'll give it to you, yes. 
you want us to bring it to you. Unfortunately, we can't get in there, so you're going to have to come to the bag, not the other way around. Ed? We're not sure who Ed is. Is Ed your child? Clear. That's the second time she said clear as well. Sound the bucket said Karen. Well, Karen is Cag's actual name, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know who Karen is? Here. Who's here? Is this somebody? It was a, there was a sentence that ended in balls. <laughs> Green. Three balls. Okay. Balls. Here. Are you a child? I do have some pretty lights you can play with though. On the door there. I do. Well, maybe you have already been playing with them. Can you tell me what colours you see? Okay, we're going to have to go in a minute. If you like the gift in that bag, can you just do us one little favour and just move it again? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> just a little movement. Try really hard. Foreman, then somebody laughing. Months. Okay, I'm going to get CAG out of there very soon. Okay, see bum. <laughs> Is that because you want CAG to stay? Here we decided to wrap up our session and Jared wasn't far off too, having not received anything of further interest. But we'd soon learn that all of the responses that tied into the bag having earlier moved on its own were far more compelling. As CAG was actually testing out the spirit box before starting this session, so he hadn't heard our conversation revolving around the bag and thus had no idea that Jared and Alison had seen the bag move at all. I'm just going to put this on the floor here looking at the bag. I just need to say as well, mm. whilst I was waiting for you guys to start. I did hear the sea bomb a couple of times. Did you? Mm. Did you hear us talk about the bag before we started? Never heard anything because I was listening to this. There was a bag out here when I was setting up. Right. And when I was putting the tripwire, you might have had the headphones on already. When yeah. I was putting the tripwire, setting that up, Alison and Jared were like, we just seen the bag move. Okay. No, like, I didn't hear that. It was like, an undulation, it's like that went in, that came out, then it moved. It was like the, like somebody was moving around in it. Oh really? Having a good look through? Um, I, I wish they got it on video because that would have been gold. But we can't, you had a chat with you and the most compelling stuff was about the bag. This was just one interesting part of our night, but it was time to move on. So we rigged a still goes to best Celeste camera to monitor for activity, yet it was not able to pick up anything of interest. Meanwhile, Jared and myself moved to the men's area to continue reaching out with Ghost Tube Vox. Want to note, this REM pod down here has already triggered while we were setting up. So if there is somebody around, I'd love for you to come up to my hands and talk to me. We've been talking to you all night. I know there was somebody around down here because when we were here with Alison and CAG, you were triggering their devices. I'd love for you to do the same for me, but I would more so love to hear your voice. <laughs> Would you like us to come further down here? Here. I heard that. Thank you. Can you tell me the number of your cell? Am I really close to it? Bigger than that. I heard something like straight, I thought. I can't really see at all in here. That's room 33 I can see on the night vision. Okay, is it all right if I come in here? It smells weird in here. Like what? Like I want to say like plastic or something. I was sitting down here earlier tonight and I felt like I could feel people walking around. Can you tell me about that? Is that you? Can you tell us who you are? I just heard you up there. Which cell should we go in? 
Which is yours? Five. Five. Is there a cell five? Uh, um, there's a 59. Should we find cell five? Behind you. Finger 12. Then I had 12. Okay. Five or 12. Can you just confirm you want us to go to cell five? Is that right? Can you tell us which direction, can you direct us there? Can you direct us to the cell that you want us to go to? I thought it said go up. Oh really? <laughs> but we will go up there in a sec. I just want to see if cell one or uh, cell five or twelve is around here. I feel like when I said five, it was a woman as well. Yeah, it did. And this is a woman's side, right? Five. Is this the cell? Uh. What about this cell? He passed. He passed. Hey. Who is he? Okay, we're coming down to cell 12. It's only two cells away from Ten. Caroline's. Oh, Ooh, is it locked? <gasps> No, but it's full of chairs. Oh, it, they must use this for storage now. Are you still in here though? Is this door closing? Yes. This door is moving. Here, we waited for the door to settle before moving it again to confirm it was just gravity forcing it closed. But with no interactions coming from this cell, we decided to move back to the men's cell block. Okay, we're back. Did you miss us? Where did we go? When did you go, I feel like it said? Well, we went to cell 5 and 12, like you asked us to. <laughs> Earlier, which you'll see in Haunted Horizons video, Jar and I did a little um, stint down here where we were doing an Estes, sitting down here alone. And this area feels quite uncomfortable, like there's somebody around. Feels like there's somebody moving around, always somebody behind you. I still feel it now, like I've just walked down here and it's like a weird feeling down here. And it's not like it's a house where there's like loose floorboards, like this is solid cement floor. So you shouldn't be able to feel vibrations, but I was feeling it too. I was feeling like people were walking past while I um, had the headphones on. So, so is there somebody here? State your name, prisoner. Why are you in here? I've heard there's a prisoner down here who likes to touch women. Is that so? That was loud. Right down that end. Yeah, down the far end behind our second camera back there. Why do you touch the ladies for? It's a bit rude. It was a horrible noise. I want to know how long you've been here for. Did you know the Kellys? Can you tell us about the Kellys? All these people are... You know Ned Kelly? Did he let you call him Ned? Was that his name or did you call him Ned Kelly? Or Neddy? Do you want a cigarette?
And that was our night at the old Beechworth Jail, one of Australia's most haunted prisons. We'd had an incredible night filled with good company from our guides, the ghosts, and of course our friends Alison and Cag of Adelaide's Haunted Horizons, who you should check out to see their side of this investigation from the same night. But if you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and a comment, then make sure you're subscribed with all notifications turned on for this channel, as our next video will take you to an incredibly haunted asylum in the United States, a place filled with bizarre ghostly activity and dark stories, you won't want to miss our next paranormal investigation at the Randolph County Asylum. I am so tired, I am like losing my mind, but I'm so happy that I again got to work with my friends Alison and Cag, Adelaide's Haunted Horizons, all their links are below. You have to go and watch their video as well as watch this one because we did a lot of sessions with them and they did a lot of sessions with us, us, can't even talk. <laughs> And we got some really cool stuff on both of the videos. So I think it's definitely to get a good understanding of our whole night, our whole investigation, you have to watch both videos and definitely subscribe to them. Those ladies are the best. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really helps us out. You want to do a bit more reading about this place, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You can also follow us on social media and what am I missing? Patron, YouTube members, extra video linked below but thank you guys so much for watching until next time